Hello, welcome back, Nick Lynch's Comic Corner, classic slash non-classic. This is episode number 242.5. I haven't done one of these in a while, but the reason I'm doing this is because I didn't give sort of a little bit more, I'm doing this a little more proper review for this particular trade, so I figured, oh, why not? And it's uh, just a set of returns. The story in here is that uh, our man has brought together the JSA to stop this supernatural being who is trying to take over the world and all sort of stuff. Now, the, now there, there's several one shots you know. Goyer and Davis Goyer and James Robertson only do the the um, the All Star Comics uh, bookend one shots. Along with, if I can find it here, uh, Adventure Comics. Uh, they do something else here. Let's see. Uh, they also do Sensation Comics. And they do, um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. The other one shots uh, for in here, the All American Comics. Yeah, that's the one that, uh, well, obviously features now on Scott because the comic made his debut in. Yes. Uh, this one is done by Ron Martz. Um, let's see here. Uh, it's not that one. Um, the other one shots, National Comics is done by the awesome Mark Wade. All right. Let's see here. The other ones. Uh, let's see. What's this one? This is. If I can find a name for it. Smash Comics. I love this thing. Uh, that is done by. Um, Tom Poyer. Yeah, Tom Poyer. Jeff Johns, this, this chief career officer of DC Comics, does Star Spangled Comics. Chuck Dixon does Railing Comics. There's the cover. I'll show the cover of some of these other ones. Uh, there's a couple other short stories in here. Uh, aside from the main one shots. One of course is um, scenes from the class struggle at the JSA Mansion. This is probably because it does say it contains Golden Age Secret Files and Origins Number One. This is the story probably from it. This is done by Tom Payer. I don't know why they didn't put the cover in there, but okay. And History 101 is also done by Ron Martz. Now for these one shots, All Star Comics is basically the JSA. That's pure and simple there. Um, as for the one shots, all American comics is a team between Johnny Thunder, Alan Scott, AKA Green Lantern, and of course, um, his Thunderbolt. Yeah. It's a team between these three particular characters and they try to go on army base and try to stop some uh, supernatural, stop this guy. And they do in fact defeat him after several battle. And, of course, in every single one shot, Dr. Occult himself shows up. This guy here, that is Dr. Occult. He shows up in every single one of these one shots. Okay? For Adventure Comics, which, by the way, this is something quite interesting. Adventure Comics is also the same comic that Starman made his debut in. And now Starman, the Starman here is Ted Knight. Not Jack Knight from the James Robinson series. This is Ted Knight, his father. And he's team up with the original Alf, not Ray Palmer, Al Pritt. That's him right there. That's what he looked like. And this guy here, this is Starman, the original. His son, David Knight, did wear this costume before he died. Yes, and they just deal with other stuff that deals with some... It, they pretty much battle the same character that the other characters battle. They're, yeah. In the National Comics, it's... Flash and Mr. Terrific. Now, in case you're asking, did any of these two characters first appear in the pages of National Comics? The answer is no. Yeah, this is the first one where neither one of these two characters made a debut in National Comics. You see, 
The Flash, this is of course Jay Garrick, he made his debut in Flash Comics number 1. As for Mr. Terrific himself, he made his debut in the pages of Sensation Comics number 1, which also happened to feature the first cover appearance of Wonder Woman. No, that's not one of those first appearances. His first appearance is a backup feature for um, All American Comics, uh, All Star Comics number number eight. Yeah, and basically, Mr. Terrific and the Flash team up, and I should call him Jake, Jake Garrett team up, just deal with this pretty much the same thing, deal with their own stuff overseas. Uh, there's no appearance, but they are major characters aside from Dr. Colt himself. Yeah, he's the only one that connects all these all these one shots together. Mm -hmm. It's a great one shot. Now, Sensation Comics features team up between Wonder Woman and Hawk Girl. Also, neither one of these two characters made a debut in Sensation Comics, but Wonder Woman. This was her first. Uh, this this series was how she got her spot, her soul. This is how. This was the first series she was regularly featured in before she got her own solo title. The title itself has been discontinued. It was discontinued, I think, in the 60s. But as for uh, Hawk Girl, she made her debut in Flash Comics number one along with her husband, Hawkman. In this story, they battle this thing, this giant water creature. Yeah. It's a pretty interesting story. Oh, and uh, here's something interesting, though. In the original Earth 2 continuity back in the Golden Age, Wonder Woman was, in fact, Diana. This is Queen Hippolyta. Yeah, it's Queen Hippolyta. Though, the um, the restoration of her being there was, was, in fact, restored years later. Yep. And a team of Dr. Colt. Dr. Colt brings them together. Who are close together, anyways. And that's a, that particular one. Uh, Smash Comics, which features uh, Our Man, Doctor Midnight. Um, as far as I could tell, for either one of these two characters, I think Doctor Midnight himself did make his first. I don't think he did. Um, I'm not really sure about. I know Our Man first made some pages of Adventure Comics, but what about uh, um, Midnight? Let's see. Okay, here. Men, his days. Uh, I don't think it was Smash Comics. No, I don't think it was. It. I don't think it's. Um, uh, I don't think it's Smash Comics. It's uh, All American Comics. Yeah, that's where he shows up in All American Comics. That's his first comic. This was actually quite interesting because, well. Hey, I think this one's interesting. Yeah. You have Our Man and Dr. Midnight. Now, the Our Man, this is the original Our Man, Rick Tyler. And Midnight, Midnight, this is Charles McGander. Yeah. These two guys team up. And they just battle their stuff. And they battle this thing along with the JSA in this particular issue. But they're the, the thing is like halfway through. So it's basically just bringing the team closer together. And of course, Doctor Midnight. Uh, I think yeah, I think Doctor Midnight kind of loses his favorite bird, which he comes back. Let's see here. Yeah. Now this one is one of my personal favorite ones for this one shot because it's Star Spangled Comics. Now, Star Spangled Kid did make his debut in the first issue of the original Star Spangled Comics series. Sandman, on the other hand, now this is Wesley Dodds, but this is his second costume. Now when people, when people look up. Wesley Dodds as a Sandman, you probably find him wearing his original costume with the gas mask, the fedora, the cape, so like that. This is the second costume. Now, basically, this team with several different characters. You also have Sand, who is um, Wesley Dodds' girlfriend. This is a, this is her nephew, uh, Sandy Sanderson. And of course, they're not the only ones in this issue. They, they do some rescuing, they do some heroic stuff. Now, this is basically a book featuring the non-powered heroes. Now, Star Smiggle Kid is working with his sidekick, Stripesy. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a picture of him. Uh, yeah, let's get a picture of him right there. Uh, right here, yeah, Stripesy. Yep, Stripesy, who becomes Stripe, who becomes an iron suit in the present. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And and they all see what this guy called King. I don't know much about this character. Uh, he's one of those Golden Age characters. Yeah. And this is a great team of book. Yes, it is. And of course, the book ends like other ones do, featuring Doctor Occult. Now, next one's called Thrilling Comics. Yep, this is Thrilling Comics. And this one features Hawkman and Wildcat. Hawkman, first appearance. Flash Comics, number one. Wildcat, Sensation Comics, number one. Thrilling Comics is, along with Smash Comics, a comic originally published by Quality Comics back in the 40s. They just probably brought that back because it's a, it's a comic book. And, of course, like Awesomely by Chuck Dixon. Mm -hmm. Now, this one, they actually feature some other characters in this one. Besides them working together, you also see appearance by Tigress. Yep, Tigress. A woman who would later marry the sportsmaster and have a daughter who would later marry Icicle Jr. and, and she become a grandmother years later. Her name is Paula something. I don't remember her last name. And she works with, get this, the original Manhunter. Yeah, this guy here, I think his name is... um. Uh, it's one from the Golden Answer comics. I don't remember his name, but he does wear a costume that looks similar. Now, th this is the guy who made his first appearance in the pages of Police Comics back in the 40s. So basically, you have three DC, regular DC characters who are still established DC characters team up with a quality character, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. And this team sticks together the whole book. And despite the fact, Tigris here is the only known villainous of the group. Manhunter, Hawkman, Wildcat are basically the uh, characters, and of course, all of gets, this gets wrapped up in the in the one shot, which pretty much brings in the, all the other characters. Now, here, this is a great splash page featuring all the Golden Age characters. Mm -hmm. Yep, and they all battle the character, and they end up winning. And of course, uh, Hawkman is the one basically who's lead of the JSA at this point. And prior to DC relaunch, Mr. Terrific was one charge of the JSA. Uh, and it's not Terry Salone who's in here. It's uh, Michael Holt. That's who is uh, the leader of the group. Mm -hmm. And Carter Hall does not wear the costume. And of course, you see appearance by Exact, who is from uh, this guy here. He's from the Zero Hour storyline from the 90s, which has sort of a soft reboot. And you also see kind of a, an aversion of of the Andrew, of of uh, Matt uh, Matt Tyler, who was the third Hour Man. Mm -hmm. Now, on this great artistic page, this features the present day JSA. Great lineup, by the way. You have Jack Knight, Sand, Star Girl, Hawk Girl. This is of course Contra Saunders, Wildcat, Alan Scott, Adam Smasher, Jay Garrick, Black Canary. And the third hour man. The last one is just, well, sort of a reunion. Have all the superheroes eating at a restaurant. It's a nice little story. Um, basically, it's all the characters. How they look basically back in the 40s. And, of course, the last one is an older Green Lantern. Who looks like, well, it looks like he's put on some pounds. But it's just uh, Stargirl looking around the air and said, Hey, they even, she even shows her the helmet of the original... Shows up a lot of history for here. History in this little museum. Heck. Uh, shows up the, the table which the JSA met at. Um, even the uh, the helmet which um, Ma Hinkle wore when she was the Red Tornado. This is really great. Anybody who's interested in taking a, a look at the Golden Age characters. The Golden Age characters part of the JSA. Especially since they, well... Are probably featured on, J on League of, of uh, Legends of Tomorrow. I do recommend this. And I give the book a 9.75 out of 10. This book is awesome. So, that's it for this episode. Next episode definitely will be episode 243. And Double Shot 176. Until then, see you there. Bye.